Here we have rational exponents, products, and quotients with negative exponents. And write your answers with positive exponents only. So since they all have the same base, I am going to end up with the base A. And then remember, products, you will take the exponents and you will add. And then whatever you get in the top, that top exponent will have to... Um, you'll have to subtract the bottom exponent from it. So this becomes um, five over two plus a negative one over two, simplifies down to two, and then I have to minus one third from it. And so then we end up with a to the five thirds. Now that is positive, so this is the final answer. Here is just a bunch of products, so all I'm going to do is keep the same base and have negative 2 fifths plus three fifths plus a negative four thirds. So negative two fifths plus three fifths plus a negative four thirds. I end up with negative 17 over 15. Now this is negative exponent, so I do have to rewrite it as 1 over x to the positive 17 over 15. And that's it for this topic. So make sure you're keeping in mind whether you're adding or subtracting. So if they're all multiplied, you're just adding them all together. If you have a combination of multiplying and dividing, make sure you put whatever you're doing for the numerator in brackets. And if there was a bunch of stuff in the denominator, make sure you put that into brackets. For instance, let me just make up one. Um, so let's say I have a to the two thirds over a to the three fourths and a to the negative one half, something like that then that means I do have a with the same base and I would have to take the numerator and I would have to subtract the denominator. But there's a bunch of stuff going on in this denominator so I'm gonna use a parentheses or a bracket. Um, and then I would have to take in the bottom, what would I have to do? In the bottom, these are multiplied. So I would have to take this exponent and add this exponent, right? And that's all I would need to do in the bottom. And so once you have all of that together, you do your order of operations, so I would have to subtract that. I would get one-fourth. I believe I would get one-fourth. I did it in my head, so let me verify, because sometimes we can make errors. Yeah, one-fourth, and then I have two-thirds minus one-fourth, which actually gives me five over 12, and it's positive, so in this case, that would be my correct answer. But just keep in mind that if there's a bunch of stuff happening in your numerator or a bunch of stuff happening in your denominator, keep your numerator in a bracket or keep your denominator in a bracket or both. If there was another thing up here, I would have a bunch of stuff in this bracket and then a bunch of stuff in that bracket. So make sure you're keeping your numerators and your denominators separate with the minus sign in between.